the piece of equipment you have right here and right here is incredibly powerful and when you begin to realize that you begin to realize I, I, I have a responsibility it's not even a responsibility it's a pleasure it's a delight it's a joy in realizing I can now reclaim that power for myself and start to bring into my life the things that I've, I've wanted for so long I'm talking about here in this video today desire uh, it's almost a forbidden word but it's an important one a lot of the stuff I talk about here is how to move through negative emotions you know and in truth there aren't there's no such thing as a negative emotions they're just energy passing through the body you know that's really what they're experienced as when you take off the labels some are more intense than others for sure there's no doubt about that but when you do begin to heal a little bit what you're looking for before you can get to this stage of if even thinking about bringing about things into your life that you you really want that you feel excited about you feel alive and really want to go after the goal is usually peace to get to a place where you have something called peace of mind and by the way peace of mind when once it's uh once it's achieved i guess or once it's tasted is not something to be made little of peace of mind is a huge huge gift in life and something to be we should all be very grateful for to have peace of mind to not be preoccupied with doubt and worry and anxiety and depression and all those feelings which is as i said what i talk about a lot of the time but somebody did point out to me recently and absolutely correctly so that i don't talk enough here in these videos about what then you know what when you find peace what happens next so i'm going to start talking more about them here but how you can go after your goals how you can get excited about life because people want to feel excited okay if you don't feel passionate in life if you don't feel excited and that's in you know in your work and your relationships and everything else life isn't really worth living without that passion okay peace is important it's fundamentally important but what are you going to get excited about now to start off this kind of inquiry into this there's a question i want you to weld here into your consciousness okay and it's something that i want you to ask yourself a million times a day what do i want because we can get into this this dynamic of waking up in the morning and immediately i'm into serving other people all the time okay it's well i'm going to a job to help other people or to do work for somebody else or i'm a mother and i get out of bed and i have to go and get the kids ready or i'm a dad and they have to go and do you know a million other things right and it's it can start off really small waking up what do i want to do what do i want to do right now on a micro level and a macro level keep asking yourself what do i want it's the most it's the healthiest question you can really begin to ask yourself habitually in, in your life what do i want to do because as i said it's not something we're conditioned it's not something society really trains us to want to ask some people would say look we live in uh, modernity our modern society is very egotistical and it's all about hedonism and getting what you want what you want it's a reactionary hedonism it's a reactionary narcissism you could call it okay it's all about me 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 and the self not really it's a very shallow sort of narcissism it's not a deep question like i'm inviting you to ask here and what i want what we see now in in, in modern society what, what looks like egoic forms of getting things for the self alone is really more a disillusioned state of mind that people are left over with because nothing has worked out for them and then it's just a grasping of whatever little things they can get and it is very egoic but when we start to do this proactively ask what do i want in my life what do i want in my relationship what's going to make me happy what's going to make me happy in my job do i want to continue to do this line of work or this this sort of um in this sort of business for the rest of my life or is there something else out there that would make me more happy um how do i want all my relationships to be how do i want my health to be 
what's that going to be like for me so again it starts off by asking yourself that question what do i want before you can start to feel desire before you can start to feel excitement passion drive energy you have to give yourself permission to think like this you can't always be thinking about how i'm going to serve others or most of our consciousness is in avoiding disaster to be perfectly honest okay success at the end of the day for many of us looks like well i've i've managed to evade uh that thing i really didn't want so how can i avoid what i don't want is usually where we are but what do i want it's a dangerous question it feels it's uh it can be difficult for us to bring ourselves to ask ourselves that question habitually all the time and then there's another thing we'll talk about in other videos is okay well, what's the best kind of mindset or state of mind to start making this easier easier to ask for a start and then easier to start to move towards those things or to open yourself up to being successful and having those things come into your life more easily because it is more about a kind of a state of consciousness of just allowing things to come into your life more than uh, a sort of frenetic uh, panicky energy of going out and trying to, to make it happen as it were so to begin with the invitation here in this video is what do you want and i want you to, i want these videos to be helpful for you i want you to come away from watching these videos with okay that was good for me that would that help me so i want you to ask yourself right now what do you want what do you want in your life and give yourself full permission to ask for it right now i'm giving you permission not that you need my permission but what do you want for yourself in your life are you happy with where you are right now or could you move towards something else something that's going to make you feel this desire to take action to get out of bed to move towards it consistently whatever it might be for you with an openness to to experiencing whatever is going to be involved in that journey ask what do i want that allows the desire to come into your life we really want desire there's no getting away from desire okay why am i making this video because i had a desire to make a video to hopefully resonate with people because i enjoy it you know something i was sitting down earlier and i had a desire and it's not, it's about not judging the desire it's or it's not about trying to overly control that desire it's more of a curiosity and when the desire arises it's like okay that's interesting i wonder i wonder where this desire is going to go and here I am, I'm sitting in this chair right now making this video that hopefully, hopefully some people will like, hopefully you like it, hopefully it's, it's helpful for you. So in, in more of my videos here, I'm going to talk about practicing this sort of diligently to move beyond that state of moving out of those negative feelings and hopefully into that peaceful state of mind and then pushing forward to get to these higher levels of, of desire, feeling like you're, you're, um, positive expectation is 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 important so how do we how do we start to bring that about so i'm going to leave it for there what do you want let that question sit with you and uh see what comes up and i'll talk to you guys again very soon thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now